In many places in America, particularly the South, you will hear terms such as hoodoo, conjure, root work, or work used to describe a magical practice that is intended to bring about change in one way or another. These terms have become synonymous with one another and are used to describe the same thing. From here on out, we will use the word conjure to refer to this magical practice. So then, what is conjure? The short answer would be that conjure is an African-American-based magical practice that contains influences from African spiritual practices, Christianity, Jewish mysticism, and Native American practices, as well as European folk magic. However, the primary influence derives from the spiritual beliefs of Central and West Africa. During the transatlantic slave trades, many Africans were forced from their homes their families, their spirituality, and all they had known, and taken to the Caribbean and then to the Americas. These slaves hailed primarily from the western and central regions, places such as the Congo, Benin, and Nigeria. Their varying religious and spiritual beliefs became a great influence in the Caribbean and the Americas. In the United States, the atrocity of the slave trade officially continued until 1808, when importation of slaves from Africa was outlawed. Of course, this is not to say that the smuggling of slaves did not occur afterward. The Church, both Catholic and Protestant denominations, saw African religions, spiritualities, and belief systems as evil, immoral, and even murderous. It was assumed that things like devil worship, human sacrifice, and a variety of other unethical acts were a part of their practices. And so, these magnificent people, the enslaved Africans, were prevented from honoring their spirits and worshipping in the ways of their culture. Instead, Christianity was forced upon them in order to encourage or increase the slave master's control. You see, if they worshipped the god of the slave master, then the slave master would have tighter reins, and thus there would be fewer attempts at flight or revolt. Under these circumstances... You might see how this sad state of affairs would create feelings of despair and hopelessness. However, some of the enslaved did find ways to overcome. 